proud of him. Absolutely. Jason Williams, third foul. Darren Williams hits the first of two. Again, the Heat lead is down to five. This is the third time here in the fourth quarter Utah's been this close. And now they're a little bit closer. It's a four-point game. Darren Williams now with 22 points. Seven of them in the fourth quarter. Just over two minutes left. Gang, it is crunch time. Wade to his left. And then back out. Eight to shoot. Cross-court Davis inside O'Neal. He missed the layup. Down he goes, and he fouls out on that play. Oh, boy. Isn't that something? Fifth game in a row. It's never happened in his 16 NBA seasons that he's fouled out of five straight games. The sixth time this year he's fouled out overall. And he did it falling down as he was trying to gather his feet, get his balance. I believe he fouled Boozer on that play. Well, leading the NBA with six foul outs. Shaq played 30 minutes tonight, 17 points, 10 rebounds. He also blocked three shots. Earl Barron will come on. Another game comes and goes, and the Heat do not use Mark Blunt. Pat Riley keeps hinting that he wants to. He knows Blunt could help him with his outside shooting touch. Sooner or later, he'll get to Blunt, and it's Blunt's job to just stay professional and be ready whenever that night comes. Yeah, there will come a time when Pat Riley will call on him. He does have to be ready. Tonight, Earl Barron came in, did such a great job. Pat Riley goes back to him at crunch time. Coach, it's 97-94 now. Carlos Boozer making the first of two. Boozer with seven points and nine rebounds. A minute 52 remaining in the game. The Heat was up 74-63 coming into the fourth quarter. And Boozer makes them both. The last time the Heat lead was just two. It was early in the second quarter, and the score was 25 to 23. So Boozer's two free throws makes it a two-point game. 140 remaining. Wade guarded by Darren Williams. Pump fakes, draws the foul, and gets two free throws. These will be his ninth and tenth free throws of the night. He's six of eight from the line, and now there's pressure on these free throw shooters. Well, when you need it, you go back to old reliable. A little pump fake. Darren Williams is trying to, as you said, Eric, it's very difficult not to go for that fake, especially when you're playing against a great player. You want to make a good defensive play. You want to get a stop at crunch time. T. Wade goes back to what he does best, and he gets to the foul line. Best quarter of the game for Dwayne tonight, this fourth quarter. What a surprise, huh? Not really. <laughs> Daquan Cook in, Earl Barron to the bench. And he goes small here. You got Udonis now playing center. Ricky Davis actually is playing the power forward spot. It's a, you know, all it is are numbers. It really doesn't matter. They, they, they're matching up uh, according to the size of Utah. Pat Riley has used just eight men, the only three off the bench tonight. Earl Barron, Ricky Davis, and Daquan Cook. So Dwayne Wade now has 11 of his 18 points here in the fourth quarter. The Heat lead by four. Darren Williams, beautiful behind the back move. Could not finish it. Harpering underneath. Sends it out to Kirilenko. 20 on the shot clock, and we get a timeout called by the official Joe DeRosa. And he's going to gather up his officiating crew. I think there's something, uh, an issue with the clock here. They want to know... The referees are checking to see if one of those shots, a shot that Utah put up, did it touch the rim? Let's watch it again. I thought that Wayne Wade might have gotten a piece of this. I thought Wade blocked this. He did. Yeah, but it did get but rim. But it did hit also. the rim. Yes. Great work, Ted Ballard and his crew. They always have the replay, don't they? Great work. Ted Ballard, A.J. Speaks, Bob Hewitt, LeVon Wright, everybody else in that broadcast truck, and all the hardworking men and women that comprise the Sun Sports crew on a nightly basis. We're lucky to have them on our side. Eight on the shot clock. Kirilenko from deep. Oh, oh my. Wow. A bullseye from Key Biscayne, his second triple of the game. He's got 21 points. Coach, we got a one-point game. Karolenko was shooting 25% from the three-point line coming into the game. You always got to watch for the guy taking the ball out of bounds. He's the most dangerous guy. Well, the stakes are high right now. Wade to his left for the jumper. And the rebound battled for it, taken by Carlos Boozer. Incredible. The Jazz, here in the final minute, have a chance to jump out in front. 
This is C.J. Miles. And a whistle away 